Hey guys, what's up? It's Greggles here from the Greggles and Dan Show. Today I'm going to show you six must-have accessories to get the most out of your NVIDIA Shield TV. The first is a mouse. You can either go Bluetooth, USB wireless, or USB corded. I prefer Bluetooth. It has way less lag than I've seen with the USB cordless ones. Uh, so you got this one, it's the one I have, the Microsoft Sculpt Comfort Blue Mouse, Bluetooth Mouse. It's 25 bucks. I got it for $20 at Best Buy, so definitely shop around. Uh, I'll put the link for this one, for all these products actually in the description if you're interested in any of these. If you don't want to spend 25 bucks and you don't want to deal with Bluetooth, your other option is to get a USB corded one. I've ha I had a lot of luck, actually my, even my USB corded mouse worked better than my Bluetooth mouse. So if you have an uh, extra Bluetooth, uh, USB mouse laying around, use that. Otherwise, um, just uh, buy this one or one like this. They're really cheap nowadays. Nine bucks for a corded USB mouse will work perfectly with your NVIDIA Shield TV. The next thing you'd want to get is a remote. If you run TVMC or Netflix or Hulu or any other video app, you're going to want to get a remote. The one that you can get with the NVIDIA Shield that they make is $50. This Amazon one is $15.15 and works awesome and it has a menu button which the NVIDIA Shield TV remote does not have. This works awesome, that menu button works awesome in TVMC, Kodi, XBMC, whatever you want to call it. So pick that one up. The next is a micro SD card. I prefer the SanDisk ones. Uh, they're usually cheaper than the Samsung ones. Uh, they get the same speed, have amazing reviews. Look at those reviews, four and a half out of five, 10,000 reviews. These are great if you have a camera or a um, music player or whatever, or you can put movies on it. It's a great way to get stuff easily and quickly onto your TV so you can view it. Uh, I usually use mine to look at videos and, and pictures to show to family and friends. So if you're going to buy one, 64 gigabytes is the sweet spot. And make sure it is pretty fast. These ones are not the fastest. They do have UHS 3, but those are a little bit more expensive. 64 gig gigabyte UHS ones are the sweet spot. 24 bucks. Sometimes you'll even get it between 15 and 20 bucks if you can find it on sale. Those are great pickups. Another one, if you are going to amass a ton of movies, or videos, or pictures, or movies, or in music as well, this is an amazing drive. It's seriously the size of a maybe two decks of cards, super small, and it only has one cord. It uses the USB 3.0 cord to get to gain all the power. You don't have to have a separate power cord. 86 bucks for two terabytes can put tons and tons of uh, 1080p movies, uh, even 4K movies, uh, tons of uh, music, pictures, tons and tons of stuff. This will work great with your NVIDIA Shield TV. So definitely pick one of these up. I have it for my Xbox One. It is super fast, super small, and only one cord. Now these last two ones are big time buys. You have an NVIDIA Shield TV. It can display at 4K, which is four times the resolution of a 1080p television. If you're on the market to get a television, this is a great buy. It's 1100 bucks. sounds like a lot, I know. 4K TV, crazy, four times the resolution. But the cool thing is if you get it from Best Buy and you buy it soon, it actually comes with a free Samsung soundbar, which as you can see right here, is on is three hundred dollars, over three hundred dollars, and you get it for free when you buy that TV. You can get it in silver or black. The subwoofer is wireless, um, and then you get a little soundbar to front, put in front of the TV. You seriously have two plugs to plug in. It connects wirelessly to the TV via Bluetooth. It sounds amazing. It's free with this TV. You can also get it in uh, if you buy the same model TV but bigger size. They have it fifty-five inch, sixty inch, seventy-five inch, and sixty-five inch as well. So definitely check that out. Like I said, guys, I'll leave a description of these down below in the, in the uh, description of the video. If you have any accessories that you think should be added to this list, please add it in the comments down below. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys down the road. Thanks for watching.